Hi everybody, this is the Prefect and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on our Ultramarine Storm Talon. So we've got this cockpit sub-assembly all assembled here and I'm going to get this all primed up and we'll work on this guy first and then we'll move on to the larger portion of the gunship. All right, we've got our cockpit uh, all primed up here and now what we're going to do is just base all of the inside of the cockpit in lead belcher. So here we go. I really like uh, doing it this way. It gives you a little bit of extra detail and uh, I know not everybody knows that the cockpit is painted on the inside, but I will. And we'll do a really nice job with the glass canopy as well. All right, I'll finish this up and I'll be right back. All right, we're back and now that we've got the base on the rest of the cockpit back here, we're going to base our pilot here with corn red. So, so we'll start by putting the, it's gonna be a very thin coat here. Now, obviously with the reds, it's kind of tricky to paint reds, yellows, whatever. So I just put a lot of thin coats on and that kind of helps things out. Now, of course the base paints go on pretty thick, but I'll continue that on. I'll do two coats and I'll be, you know, try not to get too much onto the, too much onto the symbol on the side or not anything that's going to be metal later, but we'll make sure that it's coated nice and clear. Now, obviously, with the white primer, it's nice. It brings out the it brings out the color of the red a lot more. It's a lot more vibrant. I know a lot of people like the black primer, and I think that's okay. But I like the colors to be quite, quite, uh, quite vibrant. All right, I'll continue on with this, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We've got our pilot all base coated up in red, which is really coming together nice. Uh, a couple of thin coats and everything looks good. Uh, now, shaking up my paints, uh, I'm going to top up with our friend Lead Belcher here, and I'm going to do any of the metallic bits on the pilot. So, getting my detail brush here, I'll just go in and I'll touch up any of the, any of the metallic parts here on the pilot with lead belcher. Obviously if you mess up a little bit that's totally cool you can come back to it uh, no problems at all and I'll go over the flight stick again here just to make sure. So I'm just going to touch up anything that I've touched up too much red on and I'm going to pick out any of the metallic bits of the pilot. All right, I'll continue on with that and we'll let it dry for a sec. All right, it's looking good. We've got all of our metallic bits of the suit all done up here in lead belcher, which is good. Uh, last thing to do now before we do the, the big wash is to take our retributor armor and I'm just going to touch up or just base the skull on the helmet very gently. I don't want to fill in all those eye sockets and stuff. And I'm going to very gently base in. And if you get too much, you can use your use your brush as a bit of a sponge here. But just do the Admex symbol on the shoulder pad as well. So I've got that skull and I've got that skull. And it's looking pretty close here. Alright, I'll let that dry for a sec. We'll come back and wash it. Okay, we've let the gold dry and now I'm going to wash it. That's the best part for me because it kind of goes from that paint by numbers. Looks like it was painted by a kid and it adds a lot of depth. So I'll be taking my wash. Now my wash is a custom wash that I make. It is half Agrax Earthshade, half Nuln Oil. So a 50-50 mix of those, and then I mix that 50-50 with floor wax. So it's half floor wax, 25% Nuln, and 25% Agrax. Anyways, what the 
four wax does is it makes it a beautiful flow aid and you can see how nicely the wash goes into all the bits and pieces and all the nooks and crannies and I love how immediately especially on these display consoles and stuff how immediately it brings out all the detail so I'll wash the entire miniature here and then I'll let it dry for about half an hour or so Okay, so now that we've got the wash all done, the next step is going to be one of my favorite parts where we're going to take our corn red, doo -doo, and then we're going to do lead belcher on the control panels, but we're basically going to be doing something called overbrushing. So what that means is, is we're essentially going to take a little bit of red and we're going to go over all the major highlights. So you can see where a little bit's collected under the leg here. That's not really what we want to be doing. So I'll get rid of that a little bit. And of course, just watering down the paints just a little bit. Corn red's a bit of a thick color to begin with. And so I'm just going to go all over all the major, what would be the major highlights. So if we're looking at the helmet, the helmet, I'll just cover this major ridge across the top. It also does a good job of hiding mold lines. If you missed one, clearly I missed one there just in around the face and so it doesn't take that much and it's super easy to do and it's quite fast so I'm just going to pick out all those larger highlights okay next up on our major highlights train here is going to be taking some lead belcher and we're going to be doing the control panel uh, throughout the ship uh, the interior of the cockpit here and again I'm just going to be doing the exact same routine I'll just be going over the major highlights just making sure that we leave all of those recesses intact now obviously there's not a ton of visual difference but we're just looking to get that extra layer of depth out of it and just clean up a little bit some of the brush strokes that we had from earlier from the wash so I'll tidy that up and then we'll move on to the highlights. Now that we've got all our major highlights done, both on the Space Marine pilot and the rest of the cockpit, I'm now going to work on my edge highlighting. So I'm gonna start off with my Rune Fang Steel, and I'm just going to layer up all the metallic bits, including the Space Marine. So I'm going to do my edge highlighting again just by grabbing the edge of my fine detail brush here or my artificial brush I guess they are now and I'm just going to pick out the edges and it's very easy to spot where you should highlight because it's left over from the wash so it's almost like cheating a little bit but it's pretty awesome on the shoulder plates as well the pauldrons here I'll just give them a little swipe around the edges so I'll do a gentle edge highlight there as well and I'll continue to work my way around both the Space Marine and the cockpit all right so that brings us to a completion on our metallic edge highlighting on the inside of the cockpit which is great the Space Marine is also done all his major edge highlights on the metals are all done so now it is time to layer or highlight the red on the Space Marine so I'm going to be using Wazdaka red not a good shake and I'm just going to go in and do some very very faint faint highlights on the Space Marine. So I'll start with a bit of edge highlighting and I'll do that over all of the, the sharp edges. And then when I get to the pauldrons I'm just going to just very carefully start at the top and kind of drag it down picturing the light coming from above I'm just going to do like just a very gentle over highlight on there so that I get a little bit of that kind of rounded effect going on all right for the rest of the space marine however 
I'll just be doing the regular edge highlighting. And I'll work my way through this guy. All right, so we've now got our highlights on the Space Marine. We've got our highlights on the cockpit. And the last thing left to complete our cockpit section is going to be the panels. So I like kind of a dull green. I know it may not be perfect for deep infiltration-y, night fighting type stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this green. I'm going to go Caliban green, and then I'm going to highlight uh, in a second with a lighter green, the Warpstone green, or uh, Warpstone glow, I guess. So all I'm going to do now is just paint on these panels. And I'll do them one at a time, clearly. I'll just kind of work my way through nice and careful. I'm going to do all the buttons, you name it. So I'll just base coat these with this Caliban green. All right, so with all our control panels based in Caliban green, we're now going to use Warpstone Glow to give it that nice kind of glowing, glowing incandescence. Show that up in the middle of the night, cockpit or what have you. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to highlight the opposite. So instead of the light coming from the top, I'm going to highlight it. Instead of it coming from the top right, I'm going to low light it, I guess, and go, camera just zoom in there, on the bottom left. So I'll just edge highlight on the bottom left of each of these. Now with the buttons, it's actually pretty easy. I'm just going to tap over top of the buttons. There's lots of them. For any of the displays, I'll go left and bottom. Now we could put all kinds of cool details on the displays, but it's not going to show as well through the glass. So what I'll do is I'll just go through, I'll do a very quick highlight of all of these. And that'll draw us to a close. Okay, now that we've got all our screens done, uh, I'm going to do an optional thing just to finish it off a little bit. And that is going to be to black line with a micron pen. Now I know the old school DW technique was to start with black and work your way up, but I prefer to kind of finish painting the model and then just black line with a micron pen. And all that does is it adds just a little bit extra polish to each of your details. Now. If you screw up at all, I can just lick my finger, clean that up a little bit there. But the idea is, is to get essentially that black line, if I'm a little more careful here, get that black line on your model. It gives you a nice sharp contrast. You can outline rivets. And basically anytime where two colors meet or two surfaces meet, uh, you would put black lines. So for example, here on the mask, I would just do a quick black outline of the skull to add a little more depth and contrast. Um, if I'm looking at the arms, as another perfect example, I can go in and I can fill in, fill in each of these little kind of grooves in the armor. And all it does is it adds just a little bit of pop to our model. All right, so I'll go finish off the black line and we will be done with the cockpit section of our Storm Talon. All right, with that black lining done, it shows our Storm Talon cockpit as complete. The pilot is done, the screens are done, a little bit of black lining to give it lots of contrast and pop. I'm really looking forward to painting up the rest of the Storm Talon. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you like the video, hit like and please subscribe. I'm going to be issuing a whole bunch of extra videos out, uh, not the least of which will be the remainder of this Storm Talon video. So looking forward to it. Thanks again for coming by, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.